Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for today's episode, I am going to answer a question that I was asked on Instagram. So somebody asked me, Carlo, what is the most uncomfortable sneaker that you still own that you haven't sold yet and why? Whoa, interesting. So if you want to find out what that is, keep on watching. Let's go. Before we get to the reveal of that shoe, that super uncomfortable shoe, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the best time to do so because we are doing a giveaway for an electric unicycle. Oh, di ba panalo? So check out the mechanics. It's linked in the video down below. So watch the video link down below. You'll find out how you can join, but how to join. But first, you need to subscribe. You need to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and then comment down below what you think of the shoe that I'm about to show you. Now, every time I end up buying an uncomfortable sneaker I try as fast as possible to sell it uh, there are two sneakers that I still have that I haven't let go of and I'll share which one uh, which those two are first up this is from Louis Vuitton I think it's called their trail shoe um, while it is nice the problem with this one is that it has a really narrow toe box so if you have wide feet this is like torture this is like a torture wrap for your feet so this one, I still have it because I don't think I can sell it at a good price compared to how much I bought it for. So I'll probably just remove the insole so that I can figure out a way how to still wear this ridiculously crazy, uncomfortable shoe. But the sneaker that wins this contest of being the most uncomfortable sneaker I have ever tried and I have ever owned has to go to this one. This is the Off-White Odyssey 1000. And as you can see, it is unbelievably weird. This is as uncomfortable as how weird it looks. And I mean that every single word. Now, please do take note that I am not like just trashing Off-White for the heck of it. I am a huge Off-White fan. I love Off-White. I have so many stuff that's from Off-White. It just so happens that there are misses, there are hits, and for me, this is an absolute miss. It's a good thing that I bought this at like 50% off because I'd probably be whacking myself on the head if I paid full retail for this monster. Now, what makes it so uncomfortable? Uh, you know when I mentioned that Ultra Boosts are like 360 degrees of comfort? You know, the knitted upper makes the top part of your feet comfy. The sides also are cradled. The boost gives you that cushioning soft effect for the bottom. This is the complete opposite because this is 360 degrees of pain. <laughs> I'll start with the back. You see this heel part? This one just digs in at the back of your heel like crazy. So you actually have to bend this backwards again and again so that it doesn't bite into your flesh. Secondly, this is heavy AF and the, and the weight is aggravated by those spikes because those spikes at the bottom actually protrude upwards in some way as you are walking in them. So that causes, at least for me, again, discomfort. And lastly, while it is roomy and it looks good for wide feet, the upper really isn't just that not you know comfy it, it's not it doesn't cradle your feet properly at least in my opinion so taken everything into consideration there is discomfort at the top there is massive discomfort at the back of the heel and there is that well ugh, crazy weight and spiky feeling that you get for the bottom so when it comes to the most uncomfortable shoe i've ever tried and i've ever worn and i still have in my collection this is it now why haven't i sold it yet because I'm still, because precisely because I'm an off-white fan, I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to make this comfortable. I'm actually thinking of like, I don't know, like carving away the spikes at the bottom if ever that's possible. Or maybe putting like a boost in sole because I just, I, I just want to make it work. <laughs> but I don't think I can. So I'll, I'll keep you guys updated if ever I'm able to, to fix this shoe to the point where it's actually nice to wear comfort-wise. By the way, speaking of uncomfortable sneakers, if you guys missed a follow-up video on this one, I, I did a video talking about how I got a sprained ankle because of the Air Force One mids. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it down below. Check it out. Now, to balance the negative with the positive, I do want to share with you a sneaker from Off-White that I recently bought that I super love. The complete opposite of what I just showed you. This one is comfortable, it's stylish AF, and I am absolutely loving it and i actually did an unboxing of this shoe in the previous episode so if you haven't seen my off-white uh, shopping video yet check it out down below link down below 
This is called, I think, the Out of Office uh, Sneaker. So it is a triple white shoe. It has four walking, italicized with quotation marks on the lateral side of the sneaker. You have the off-white logo at the back. Very clean, very nice, super nice to wear. I haven't, I wasn't able to show you like an on-feet shot in the previous video. So in this episode, uh, I'll show you just that. Now, so you guys can see the base is there, the support is there, the leather upper is, is nice. The padded ankle area, you know, gives you the right amount of comfort for your entire heel and ankle this one for me is just a winner and it's one of the very best sneakers in my opinion that Virgil has made uh, with off-white now how about you guys what are the most uncomfortable sneakers you have ever tried that you have almost that you could consider that you regret buying let me know in the comment section would love to hear from all of you let's compare notes uh, what are the most uncomfortable sneakers you've tried. Now, before we end the vlog, I just want to show you guys one really cool thing. This is like a teaser to our newest merch. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is the Project 7 to 1 Dusty shirt. So Dusty, of course, is our cute and cuddly cat. So this is like a quick sample shirt uh, that they put together for me to show to you in today's episode. So watch out for the official announcement of this shirt coming soon. It will be available on our Lazada shop as well as our website. I'm cute! I just want to give a quick shout out to J-Boy. Maraming salamat bro for designing this shirt. I appreciate you. Maraming maraming salamat for the support. Quick shout out also all to his loving wife Eden who apparently is a frontliner Eden always stay safe please know that we are cheering for you and we are proud of the work that you do also to Carl kapatid yata siya ni J-Boy brother magingat ka dyan uh, maraming salamat for the support and I, again we appreciate all of you who are doing frontliner work ingat kayo ang cute talaga ng t-shirt guys OMG Project 7 to 1 tapos dusty Anyway, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video for today. As usual, this is Carlos signing out. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.